I've been playing blockchain based games that incorporate NFTs for years now. The trend is finally picking up and people always ask me while I'm on the stream or I'm on Twitter, what are your favorite blockchain games? Stash, which ones are your favorite? I go, just look at my channel. <laughs> but really, today I'm going to be breaking down my top three favorite blockchain play to earn games where you can maximize your time and earn real world value. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're talking all about my top three play to earn NFT games. I've been talking about NFT gaming for years now, and the industry is finally starting to kind of pick up here. This play to earn format is definitely going to dominate the gaming industry in the next five to 10 years. And I'm excited that you guys here are early learning how to do this now and taking advantage of some of these early games, because not only do these games allow you to uh, invest your all your time and earn real world value, real world money, cash, if you want to, if you want to put in another word, right? But uh, they're actually good games. They're fun games that I enjoy playing and have great communities already. So today I'm going to talk about my top three favorite ones. But before we get into that, if you don't already subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that like. And if you're not a part of my community of stashers, you can join in the Telegram link there below and talk about uh, NFT and gaming with us in, uh, in, the, in the chat with the rest of stashers. I would love to have you guys. OK, so let's go talk about my top three favorite blockchain games. And the first one we're going to jump into is one I've been playing for a very long time and is definitely one of my top games. It's called Gods Unchained. This is a TCG or trading card game or collectible card game, very similar to Hearthstone in style and Magic the Gathering. So if you're familiar with those games, you'll be very familiar with this game, but it allows you to play to earn. And I'm going to show you exactly how that is. Let's go. OK, so this is Gods Unchained. This trading card game is a lot of fun to play and all the cards are NFTs. So in contrast to games like Hearthstone or Magic the Gathering, you actually own these cards and you can trade them back and forth in their marketplace. And so uh, the way that works is, you know, as you level up in this game, you can see right now I'm level 97, you earn free packs. These packs are yours. So you can see my next pack is a neutral core rare pack. So as I play and I earn these packs, I can combine the cards together, which is called fusing in the forge. And then I could sell the cards in the marketplace and earn real world value this in them for Ethereum. So if you want to then cash out that Ethereum, Ethereum you totally can. So uh, basically what it is, is you can uh, create your decks here in the workshop. You see I have a bunch of decks created and uh, you can see your whole collection here in the collection tab. And then uh, you come here to the arena to go ahead and battle. So let's jump into a match and see what it looks like. All right, so here we are in a match and we have to pick your god power here first. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And so you can see kind of the style of the game here. Um, and now we have our, uh, this is the uh, the actual mulligan uh, here. So this is like not too bad. Maybe I'll replace this one. Don't want that one. Oh, there we go. This is a good start. And I'm playing against somebody who has the exact same god as me. So it's a little bit gonna be a little rough here. And so this is a little bit of the gameplay and this is how it goes back and forth. You can see it's a pretty fast paced uh, card game and it has great artwork in general it looks amazing uh, you know and uh, the, the developers are always working on uh, the game itself so a lot of fun here so that was fun so I, I hope you guys like gods unchained now let's jump into my second play to earn game top play to earn game and it's axie infinity this game has absolutely blown up over the last few months and for good reason you can play and earn in this game in a very big way and not only has their token that uh, backs the game taken off so has the in-game token slp which is used uh, for breeding and for other things but traded in the market as well so you can earn big time in this game and now while this game is not a free-to-play game like gods unchained it does cost money to get started in this game the potential for revenue is very high in this game let's go take a look at axie infinity Okay, so here we are with Axie Infinity. These are cute little collectible axes and you use them to battle against each other. Uh, you have to have three axes for a team and these axes are not free. So unlike Gods Unchained, it is not a free to play game and uh, you have to buy axes and all the axes have different traits and some of them are rarer and the traits determine what cards your axe will be able to have in battle. 
So you can see here, we're gonna go on a uh, we're gonna go on an adventure battle. So you can see some of the gameplay, and we're gonna start out here in the most basic world. I already have my Axie team loaded, and I'll show you exactly what it looks like here. So here we are versus the uh, the adventure mode, the computer, and you can see I get a bunch of different cards, and these cards determine uh, what I can uh, play here. And I have different energy levels for each card. You start off with four energy for adventure and it builds up over time and each card costs a certain amount of energy. So you can see I've, I, I, now it's gonna play on screen, boom, we're gonna attack. And so the way you play to earn in this game is that as you uh, play these battles, you earn what's called SLP. These are smooth love potions, or I, I like to call them sexy love potions. And these uh, SLP can actually be traded in the marketplace. So they're like a, a cryptocurrency token that you can go and you can actually trade for Ethereum or other different currencies, uh, cryptocurrencies, and then cash off if you want to. So the play to earn element is really good here. And you can actually earn a good amount of SLP per day, anywhere between maybe 150 to 200, depending on how many, how many hours you're playing. If you're playing a bunch of hours, you could really earn that maximum probably level of maybe like 200. Uh, SLP per day and uh, you know SLP is is one of those tokens that has exploded along with a, the AXS token which is the other underlying currency for the Axie Infinity game so with that uh, you know big team of Axies you can recoup uh, that initial cost that it costs to uh, get them and to get a team together uh, fairly quickly even if the markets keep going up like they are maybe even quicker all right let's go take a look at our third and final game those guys are cute right so let's get into the very final game that is one of my top games here in crypto, and that is Blanco's Block Party. This is one of the newest games in my top three list and has quickly risen to uh, number three here on my list uh, because it is so much fun to play. It's a multiplayer game, completely different than the other two games that do involve cards in different ways. And this game is very fun because uh, it's multiplayer in a kind of uh, Fall Guys-esque party style, uh, you know mini game so uh, let's go take a look at Blanco's block party and what makes it so fun and you know, in the play to earn elements let's do it All right, so here we are in Blanco's block party and these are Blanco's you can see my Blanco here right in front and a bunch of other people here who are just uh, getting going within the junction. The junction is where you start out. It's like the starting area, right? And this is where you get going so you can go and uh, jump in the mini games. And so you can see these little things I'm collecting are called vibes. These are a lot of fun and these are like power ups essentially. I got my jetpack going here. And you can see the whole world from up here, which is pretty cool. It's very diverse. This starter area is like you can go explore. There's all kinds of things going on. Um, there's, you know, different NPCs. And then these are the main hubs right here. So these holes or portals are how you jump into the parties. And so the parties are how you earn uh, XP and level your character up and how you actually also play to earn. Because what you do is you level your character up and as you're leveling up, there's actually a thing called the party pass. And the party pass allows you to earn these really cool items like wearables for your character or new Blancos themselves which you could then sell in the marketplace for real world value. Once again, you're playing to earn. Now this is the newest of uh, my top play to earn games and it hasn't been out as, as long as the others. So they're still getting going on some of the marketplace uh, features. But right now, I think this is one of the most solid games out there and their play to earn model is I think a really great one. And it mirrors what you've seen in a lot of traditional video games with the whole season pass, right? So they were on season zero right now. And you can see I've earned a bunch of new things. So I've, I've earned some actual Blanco's bucks, which are in-game currency. And I could use those to buy more accessories on the store and then resell them if I wanted to. In particular, a lot of them sell out. And so you get to a point where like, well, they, there's no more left to be able to get on the store. So you have to buy them from somebody in the marketplace if you want them. So let's go take a look at uh, what a party looks like in Blanco's. These are, this is a finding a party right now. And these are mini games that are very similar to, like I said, the kind of a Fall Guys-esque feel. And there's a couple of different types of them. So you're either running in a race, maybe you're collecting those little uh, lightning bolts called Vibes, or maybe you're in a shooter and it's a free for all or a team uh, versus team shooter. So there you go. Those are my top three favorite play to earn NFT games where you can earn real world value, uh, cryptocurrency that you can convert into USD if you want. And they're tons of fun. These games are fun and you can actually monetize your time by playing them. 
Hope you guys like these type three games. Let me know which one is your favorite. I want to hear in the comments below. Uh, that's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.